Hello everyone! In this video I am going to show you how to decorate the neck. This detail is absolutely easy to knit, but it definitely changes the game and makes any sweater look neat and professional. You can also see how the rib of the neck looks like. I did it using the tubular cast on technique. You can check my video where I explain step by step how to make such a neck rib. I also leave the link to both videos with the cast on technique and a double rib. If you use both methods, I'm sure your projects will stand out from similar ones made at an amateur level. Most important, I repeat it again, it is super easy to learn. So here I have my neck rib ready and the next row I do is a knitting row. So I have only knit stitches here. When the first row is ready, I want to double the number of my stitches. To do it, first of all, I do one knit stitch and then I pick up the loop in front of the next stitch and make a purl stitch. The stitch itself I do as a knit stitch. Again, I pick up the left leg of the stitch of the previous row, like this, and make a purl stitch. And the stitch above is a knit stitch. I do this way the whole round. At the end of this row I need to remember that I finish with the purl stitch and for this I use the loop of the stitch which belongs to the next row. Therefore I have doubled uh, the number of stitches and finished with the purl stitch. Next row 1 and row 3 I do the same way. I slip knit stitch and make a purl stitch. Slip knit stitch and make a purl stitch. Nothing is complicating here. Row 2 and row 4 are also the same. Here make a knit stitch and slip purl stitch, holding the thread in front. Make a knit stitch, move the thread to the front and slip purl stitch. I keep on doing it the whole row. Row 3 and row 4 you do independently the same way I've shown already. When all 4 rows are ready, I check how my neck looks like. Now it's time to do the last round and reduce the number of the stitches to the original number. I start the row. Here I need to turn the knit stitch another way, then move the working thread to the front and pick up 2 stitches through the back loops from the second one to the first, here you can see what I mean, and do a purl stitch. So make one stitch from two. Again, I turn the knit stitch to me, I move the thread to the front and pick up two stitches through the back loop, starting from the purl stitch, kind of, and make one purl stitch from them. 
It might be the most difficult part, but still not much new here, uh, still just purl stitches. I keep working this row until I finish it. Finally, the neck is ready and I see it looks very neat on both sides. I will use this detail more in my future projects, so you can also consider using it. I hope my video enriched your knowledge and will help you to improve your knitting and bring you to the next level of knitting. See you next video!